Hello everyone, this is Rocky. Thanks for joining my channel. So today is part three of my Fashion Around the World series. So the first um, video that I did was about casual looks. The next one was about fancier evening looks. Today we are doing work attire. How do people or how do women dress around the world for business um, attire? So as usual, I start with the US because that's what I know. That's how I dress, so I think that I am qualified to speak on what we wear in the US. But for the others, I had to Google and um, I am not well traveled, so therefore I don't know this firsthand, so I did the best I could. So let's see what you think. I'm gonna start with the US. The very first thing is, I'm gonna do this. This is a navy suit from uh, the US. Let's see, can you tell that this is navy? So the very first one is more of a combo um, ensemble from the US. So one thing about the US, we do like to dress smart, but style doesn't go out of the window just because we want to look professional. So we aren't afraid of color and we aren't afraid of pattern. So the first thing here is just a navy blazer that I have here with uh, um, a gold button here. Um, you guys know personally, I love the gold buttons because it's all Balmain inspired and stuff. You'll see here on the shirt that there is a pattern. It has the light blue with the pinstripe of like a reddish pink in there, if you can see that. And the reason why that's important is because the skirt is a pencil skirt. It's a pink, a deep pink pencil skirt with a gold button. So everything is mimicked all throughout the, the whole outfit. So you have gold buttons, gold buttons, pink, pink, blue, blue. So there's coordination going on. There's a femininity. It's a longer midi skirt, but it also is form fitting. So this is something that you would typically see a woman wear in the workspace that certainly says, I mean business, I am serious, but also I'm a woman and I'm I'm not trying to hide that. So you're not afraid of femininity, you're not afraid of pattern, you're not afraid of color, but at the same time, you're very professional. The shoes that I chose to pair with this, of course, is a pair of pumps. You probably can't tell very well, but this is a navy pair of pumps. So it does ground the outfit. Definitely the skirt is bright, but it does help to ground the entire outfit, brings some cohesion and coordination to the whole outfit still says you're professional, still says you're a woman, and uh, that's the way we pretty much roll here in the US when it comes to business attire. We don't play. <laughs> the next look I wanna do is Russia. And this was like so far from my mind, uh, you know, in terms of, well, how do people dress in Russia? But anyway, so it, I decided, let me pick something that I'm not uh, well-versed on at all. To my surprise, it's very sleek, serious, dark. I'm not sure what I thought I was expecting, but now that I think about it, now that I'm saying it out loud, it does make sense that you would see that type of style. So for this one, I chose to display an all black, black on black pantsuit. Now in Russia, it gets pretty cold so I would imagine that in most regions you'd want to be covered and stay warm and comfortable but also be professional so this one is a you know black button-down shirt with a full black pants suit it doesn't take away from the femininity there is darting there is the roundness a bit roundness to the to the blazer itself still very feminine but you have that dark that sleek look and another thing that you will typically see them do is pair it with dark shades so you are looking fabulous and fierce in your dark suit with your shades on. Yes, yes to all of that. So I'm actually really liking the idea of doing the black on black. I think I'm gonna do that for my next meeting. The black on black on black, probably skip the sunglasses. But also, I paired it with some sensible sort of muted, sort of this matte leather pair of pumps because you do need to be able to walk around, get around in a comfortable manner. The terrain is, um, you know, probably mixed. <laughs> so you still want to be professional, be feminine, and have that black on black on black on black. Yes. So I think I'm going to try this look myself in the office in an upcoming meeting. So yes. The last look, I think I'm digging this for summer, but this one is India. India, I really didn't, again, not on my radar, how, what's the proper business attire for women in India? I'd never really thought about that. But what they have is very, um, very light, airy, summery, feminine, floral, neutral colors. Um, I love all of that, and I, that speaks to me for summer here in um, Chicago, but I, I'm, 
since the weather there is pretty mild um, year round, either hot <laughs> or you know warm. So I think that's the range, hot or warm. So you probably would have to wear very light colors, very flowy fabrics to be comfortable. How you would do that and still stay professional, I had to figure out what that looks like from the perspective of what I have in my wardrobe. So for India, I chose uh, the following ensemble. And I think it includes everything that you would find um, typically in a woman's professional outfit. So I did pick up the neutral colors. I kept the tones and the, the creams and the whites. The fabrics on everything are very uh, airy and loose. So I have a floral blazer here, very common to find ruffles on things. So I picked a top here that has ruffles that would sort of peek out of the blazer. And then I have a midi skirt, again, coverage and modesty. I have a midi skirt here that is very floral and good for the weather there. So the whole thing, you know, in total is very neutral, very light, very feminine. Um, I really like this look for summer. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pull out this exact same uh, outfit when it gets warm out and wear that to work myself. As for shoes, I paired it with some sensible uh, leather ballet flats that have a warmer tone to them that kind of uh, pulls out, draws out some of the reds in the blazer. So yeah, I think that this is still pretty neutral but then has a little bit, tiny bit of a pop. Um, very comfortable, very unassuming and quiet shoes. Um, I thought that this would go well with this entire neutral look. So that's the look for India. So those were the looks for all the different regions and countries that I thought I was interested in. Those of you who are from there or who have been there, let me know how I did. I probably failed, but I tried. <laughs> Again, maybe it's one of my goals to be a little bit more uh, well-traveled, but as it is at the moment, I am not. So I, it is com a complete guessing game. Let me know what you thought of the looks. Let me know which ones are your faves. Leave me a comment down below. Hit the like button, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Bye.